we wrestled with in our brains for a long time. Are we actually doing this? Well, hey guys. Happy Saturday. Well, it's Saturday here, and we went out this morning to run some errands, including getting groceries. Ever since we got sick this past week, basically um, five, six days ago, we have one I didn't eat for like four days. We had a stomach bug, fluish, something, and we're grateful to be over it. But we were needing groceries, but we didn't want to get out. I don't know why we didn't end up ordering groceries. We were out of milk. We were out of eggs. We could have used groceries a few days ago, but we finally got out today. And we were I'm trying to think why we went over that side of town, but we were on the side of town of Wegmans. And we don't usually shop at Wegmans. If you've never been to Wegmans, it's kind of a fun, fun grocery store. So we decided to do our grocery shopping there today. So I have our groceries I just brought in from the car. Elijah needs a nap, so Mary took him up for a nap. And I am going to show you what we got. So let me see if I can set you guys here and we'll do a little grocery haul together. Milk. Mary has been eating Aldi brand Fruit Loops, and so she thought she would try Wegmans brand Fruit Loops. Got a couple other cereals. Crispy Rice, Wegmans brand Crunchy Raisin Bran. No, I'm confused. Like, I guess Raisin Bran isn't a brand name. I thought that was like the brand name of, like this is Frosted Fruitios instead of Frosted Fruit, Fruit Loops. I guess you can, I guess Raisin Bran isn't trademarked maybe? I don't know, if you know about that, let me know. Frosted, or what is this called? Frosted Bite Size Shredded Wheat. Applesauce, the chicken breast was the big pack for $1.99 a pound. So I think, I'm trying to think of tonight. I wanna make, I've been wanting, Sometimes in our home kits that we get, the recipe will be like pan seared chicken with like a Dijon mustard cream sauce on top. It's always so good. So I was thinking about making like a pan seared chicken and doing some kind of creamy something. And I think our baby would like that. The last few months, ever, ever since Elijah started eating solids, we've been buying chicken thighs, which is hilarious to me because in all of our marriage, we've we've never gotten chicken thighs. Mary and I don't really prefer dark meat or thigh meat. But what we have found is when Elijah started solids, that was the recommended start him on thigh meat or dark meat because it's more tender. And... Mary did it in the Instant Pot and kind of just shredded it and we keep portions of it in the freezer and for us to throw that in soup or even to take out and throw some taco seasoning with it in a skillet, we have liked eating that. So I think it's funny to me that we actually eat thigh meat because for years we were like, oh, we don't... It, Plus it's sometimes a little blobbly. But then you hear like Chipotle. We love Chipotle chicken and they use thigh meat. So, you know, I think you just gotta prepare it right. Anyways, we got cottage cheese. Actually, the baby tried the cottage cheese in the car. <laughs> we got in the car and um, it was his first time trying cottage cheese and his reaction was the same reaction that I have when I try cottage cheese. <laughs> but I think it's just, it's a unique textural experience and which makes me surprised that Mary actually likes it. But it is salty. I think we'll let Elijah try it a few times and see if maybe... He warms up to the idea of cottage cheese. We got some Parmesan. Mary really wants to make a drumstick for Elijah to just dig into, like a caveman. So, and I think he would enjoy that. 
We got some tilapia, and I'm not sure, maybe we'll do this tonight, and I wonder, Mary talked about doing like a white fish chowder. It's a very cold day here in North Carolina. That might be a nice thing for this cold day. We got pie crust, probably for chicken pot pie. We made a smoothie the other day, and we decided, I think, Although today on a cold day, I don't know why we decided that we're going to start making smoothies again. But we got stuff to make smoothies, and it which includes kale, spinach. Yesterday, Elijah went to, I almost said the vet. He didn't go to the vet. He went to the doctor's office for his one month, one month, one year visit. And the little guy had to get blood work for the first time, like real blood work, like drawing it from the vein in his arm. He was a trooper, but it was a little, little sad. They checked for anemia and I think lead. The results came back. Hold on, oh, you need to go outside? It's cold out there, buddy. The results came back and his iron level, anemia level, was slightly low. So we need to kind of supplement his diet with some extra iron. So we got spinach and kale, which are have iron. And we, what else did we get? Oh, we got, this cracked us up. That this was our first can of baby food, like, legit baby food that we have purchased because, well, for Elijah. Years ago, Mary and I did the baby food challenge, but as in terms of food for Elijah, we had never, we just done like solid solids from six months and we've made our own food for him and, but we read on the pediatrician's list of iron dense foods that prunes was one so we got a little can of prunes he tried it with the cottage cheese in the car i think we need to try it maybe we'll put it in an, a little smoothie for him we got some asparagus carrots uh, what is this? Squash, uh, spaghetti squash, a pear, a lemon, celery, mayonnaise, frozen broccoli. Yesterday we had some frozen broccoli. I put it in the skillet, steamed it for a little bit, and then kind of seared it up with some oil. And Elijah downed the broccoli yesterday, so we we're like, oh, that's good, buddy. We'll buy some more broccoli. Cheeses, mozzarella cheese, sharp cheddar. Mexican eggs, the expensive eggs of, actually those were $3.29, which I think is the same as Aldi. Bananas. Oh, we got artichokes. I don't even know what we do with artichokes, but Mary got artichokes. So apparently stay tuned in the days ahead for artichoke day on the fry lab. Whole milk plain yogurt. That's the yogurt we use for Elijah and we enjoy it as well. We got oats, quick oats, an orange, onions, a mango, and we are going on a trip in a couple of weeks. Actually, less than two weeks. Yeah, two weeks from yesterday. We are going to Florida. I'm speaking at a church down there, and we are actually going to fly for the first time. Elijah still doesn't love the car, and so another long trip in the car, especially after traveling for Christmas up to Maryland to see our families, we decided we're going to fly for the first time with Elijah, and we're really excited about it. But we are getting some foods for, like snacks for him on the airplane. We got these little fruit and veggie melts. Um, like we don't buy the baby little things ever. I don't even know what these are, but we got these for him. And we are on that trip doing something that we wrestled with in our brains for a long time. Are we actually doing this? 
because in some ways we're diametrically opposed to it, but not, not really. Just because we have love cloth diapering and we have not used disposables at all, but since we're flying, we're gonna use disposables for that trip. So we bought our first pack of diapers we have ever purchased, well, disposable diapers. We've purchased some of our cloth diapers. A lot of them we got, um, some were gifted, some we got used. Anyways, that's our first pack of disposable diapers we have ever purchased. We got a thing of wipes and a little packet of non-salted peanut butter that we'll take with us on our trip. Ah yes, and yesterday we stopped at Pop Shelf and we got some freeze dried. Have you guys been to Pop Shelf? Have we, we, I think we did a video where we went there for the first time. I think it's, a, it's like a trendier version of Dollar General, but same company, but you never know that going in there. It's, I, it, it's like five below meets Dollar General meets maybe a little more to, Target Dollar section. It's, it's, it's nice. Anyways, one of the things we got there was a calculator. Mary was looking up like ideas for a one-year-old on an airplane and somebody said um, something, a calculator or something with, but or a remote or something with buttons that they can, and Elijah does like grabbing a remote and pressing the buttons. So I think this might come in handy. Ah, yes. One more thing before I let you go. We stopped at Big Lots and we hit their Christmas clearance. We got some holiday vanilla meringues. I think they were 60 cents. Mary's a sucker for cotton candy. I love ginger, dried ginger. It's sugary and spicy and delicious. I usually find it there. So we got those and then we got Christmas mugs. These are the same style as the Christmas cr mugs we got last year. They're just a good, good solid Christmas mug that we got 75% off clearance. So we got two of those. That's the end of your grocery haul for today. I don't know why grocery hauls are a thing. I guess maybe it helps inspire you to shop. I don't know. Maybe I hope you enjoyed my random commentary with today's grocery haul. Okay, I just came downstairs and this is incredible. Did you tell them what you were gonna make? I don't know, I think when I was doing the grocery haul, I said, like, I wanna make some pan seared chicken. So that's what that I did. That is what he did. Oh, yeah. And, and baby loves it. We love Yum, it. Thank you. Or, I, we haven't tried it. <laughs> We're gonna love it. <laughs> We're gonna love it. Okay. See ya. All Bye. right. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>